Pause the hand there. Cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Slin After Dark. My name's Mr. Slin, and uh, I want to welcome you guys to the show. Uh, this is the very first episode, episode one. Uh, John gave me this idea. I do mass. Uh, I cast matches every night, and John said, "Why not just turn it into a show?" So, uh, stayed up late last night designing some graphics. Uh, shout out to everyone who helped out. Um, Enigma, Hui, Skeletal Bob, BTMPL, uh, just a ton of nice guys out there, Omp, who were just helping me learn how to use Photoshop and stuff. And uh, today, for the very first episode, I'm going to have Blank with me from Mad Men. Welcome, Blank. What's up, Slim? Not much, man. Uh, so the first match that we're going to cast, we're going to have two matches. The first one is going to be Instant Breakfast versus Six Cuties, and the second one is going to be Chill to Good Ratio versus Royalty. Um, and this is on CP Gravel Pit, which is a pretty interesting map. Uh, they've actually voted it out of the map rotation in Europe and in Australia, so uh, North America is pretty much the only division still still using it. And uh, I wonder what you thought about that, Blank, because it's pretty interesting. I thought it has some interesting strategies, but apparently they don't. Uh, I kind of agree with Europe and Australia at this point. Like, the map's definitely fun to watch. I think it's really boring to play now, like... Once you kind of figure it out and all the strats to run, it just, I don't know, it's kind of like textbook. And you always feel like you're kind of doing the same thing. Like, my team, now when we scrim, we just try not to off-class and then just try to, like, DM and stuff. Because, I don't know, traditional play is kind of boring. Yeah. That's my opinion, though. Well, hopefully these matches will be good and fun to watch. Um, so we're paused and ready to go. Are you ready, Blank? I'm ready when you are. Okay, we'll go on go. Three, two, one, go. Mission begins in 60 seconds. All right. Mission begins in 60 seconds. So this is a match between... <laughs> that is not the right scoreboard. <laughs> you want to pause for a sec? Uh, what? Uh, I'm at 1400. <laughs> uh, I paused at 1600, but you can get there, I that is the first technical difficulty of the uh, cast. I forgot to use the scoreboard. Because this isn't... Uh, Dropping the ball. I know, seriously. No kidding. Uh. <laughs> How have your screens been going on this map, by the way, Blank? I mean, you guys are winning a lot, but... Uh, mixed results so far. Uh, well, I mean, depends who you guys scrim, I guess, right? Yeah, tonight we scrimmed BP and, like, our crits were not good. Our, like, our offense is bad. Our defense, like, our not running any off-classing is really good, but our offense kind of needs work. I feel like if you run crits on that map, you need off-classes, like, I don't know. Felt like I was just beating my head against the wall and expecting a different result. It was mm. kind of frustrating, to say the least. Hmm. Well, uh, I know that this map allows for a lot of different setups, a lot of different uh, styles. And you said you guys run like a more standard setup, like no NG or what? Yeah, we do not run off classes at all. Oh, why is that? I mean, off classes are pretty. No, pretty good. we. Off classing, I don't know. We in general think it's bad. This is the one map where actually it's kind of good. Like, well, for C, if we're holding C, we'll run off classes. But like, just standard holding like B and stuff, we don't. That's just how we play. And offense, it's like I said. I think we should run more off classing. Like, if especially if we're gonna use like crits pushing. Hmm. Okay, well I'm at fourteen hundred. It's enough stalling for me. Ready? Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. So yeah, these so these matches that we're gonna be casting are not live. Uh, they're recorded, and that's because Blank's on a team, and I'm helping out with Team Fortress TV. Typically, uh, tonight I had to actually ring for a match, uh, and it went okay. <laughs> Apparently, the team that I was ringing for won one of the matches five v or one of the rounds five v six, <laughs> and then we came in and just finished it off. But oh dang. Uh, Anyways, instant breakfast versus six cuties. Should be a pretty close match, actually. Both these teams are pretty, uh, I would say, are the top four teams, maybe top five teams in the division. And uh, 
Let's go for the rosters real quick. Instant Breakfast have Thrill, Rick, Marmaduke Grills, Thorn, SMI Chess, and Umph. And six cuties have Ricky, Use of Bronze, Shootus, Auburn, and Puff. And it looks like Instant Breakfast is going to be running a level 3 sentry behind the shack on B. And meanwhile, Six Cuties is doing a pretty standard uh, A cap, and they're actually only using two scouts. I think the rest of the team is, yeah, actually moving through C now. Yeah, pretty much this is what you would call, I guess, standard G pit. You know, setting up the sentry gun behind Shed, holding your combo up by door two. This is just, you know, stop the suicides and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And here you see the suicides not working out, and I mean, that's kind of what the sentry gun brings to the table. Really, really strong at combating those. And actually, I don't think I've seen the suicides work recently in the last two seasons. It typically doesn't work out, especially at this level of play. Everyone knows that it's coming at this point, and uh, it'd be very, very silly if it actually worked out. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of why nowadays, especially in invite, you see teams don't even like suicide. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll just commit their team through A and then like push through C for their first push, rather than suicide people. Well, it looks like Bronze is going to be running Sniper here, trying to peek out of long B. Meanwhile, Yusuf on Heavy, able to shut down those soldiers who might be bombing the combo. The Ubers are popped, though, for both teams. Red Uber coming out of the house, and the soldier's going to get flashed as he gets up on the top. Meanwhile, Instant Breakfast, looking like Umph is going to be pushing them on the rock here, getting great damage out there, taking down Puff and Shootus. Nice job there from Umph. He's going to get taken down by Ricky from the roof. Bronze, though, hitting a nice two headshots, taking out Marmaduke Grills and that's my chest. Huge play for him. Thorn, meanwhile, coming in and getting two picks of his own on Ricky and Auburn. Yusuf's going to go down to that sentry from SMI chest. And it's only Bronze alive. Time he's only happened. The sign comes out, but no. Not good enough there. Instant Breakfast able to hold on to B and keep that level 3 sentry up. Yeah, that they were. Uh, one key thing is even though Instant Breakfast had the much better Uber, they didn't commit anyone outside of their pocket demo to that fight, so they cut it kind of close there. That's kind of another problem with the sentry gun, like, the thing with putting it inside the point, as long as the other team doesn't commit to fighting it, like, you're kind of playing 5v6. Yeah. Well, we see now the sentry gun is actually getting taken down by Yusuf here, and Instant Breakfast are having a hard time dealing with the attacking team now. The Nita team has an Uber, and actually Red Team is trying to push back. They don't want to lose any more players, but it looks like uh, Rick's going to bomb in here and take down Shootus. That's not really a good pick for him, but uh, Marmaduke Girls gets puffed down. Yusuf's trying to dodge around here at 20 health, just barely surviving. But uh, Instant Breakfast able to get that Uber now, and uh, with Shootus dead, uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem because now uh, Instant Breakfast holding onto that Uber, able to deny all these jumpers here and uh, keep buying more time. Yeah, that, yeah, the suicide's a little bit uh, staggered there for six kitties, but I mean, really good positioning by Instant Breakfast just holding up by door one. I mean, when you have control of the height advantage. It's generally pretty hard for anyone to try and get on your medic. Mm -hmm. And as you saw right there, like, scouts on high ground just skeet shooting soldiers. Uh, well now the bombers are coming in for six cuties and they are able to force the uber uh, from Thrill. Meanwhile, lots of picks going down though. All these bombers are getting denied. Shootus in the spawn. He's gonna get built up here. And it's, it's interesting to note while we have this little break that uh, Shootus is not a medic main. He actually mains Roamer. And I think they uh, don't have Sakura tonight, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, there, I'm wondering why, where Sakura is at. Maybe it's a backup situation, or maybe uh, one of their players were replaced. I'm not quite sure what the full story is on that. But uh, we do see six cuties now pushing 50% advantage out the short B. Scout trying to flank from the right side, gonna get denied there. Puff meanwhile goes down though to Umph. Umph with huge aggression takes him down here. The soldiers now jumping around for instant breakfast, not able to find anything. Uh, but the Uber uh, now coming off for six cuties. Thrills at 60% and it's not going to be off here and blank. I I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here for uh, six cuties. I'm not sure this is going to be a successful push. Mm, they actually can. If they hug the heal beam right now and turn it into a DM fight, they can still win this. I mean, they're getting picks. It's starting to equalize out here. Like, Thrills about to have Uber, but I mean, the numbers are still in six cuties' favors. What they need to do right now is rather than stand on point, which they're not going to cat, they need to heal up and just get this force, then kite the Uber out. Yeah, we see um. Sticky sniping the enemy combo here, and actually now the red team is going to run up with their Uber. Uber and a scout here. Thorn is going to try and look for a pick here. Tries to get Puff down, but no, doesn't get it. But the medic Shootus goes down here to Marmaduke Grills. Marmaduke Grills uh, trying to play tight with the combo here. He's going to go down, but not after taking out Bronze. Auburn goes down in the mix too, and only two players for six cuties alive. Puff is 40 health, hiding behind the rock here. Trying to get some stickies on the medic. He might actually make it happen here. No, he gets Uber sawed by Thrill. <laughs> and uh, that's going to put Thrill at a pretty large Uber advantage now. He's oh, down to just four health. And uh, Yusuf comes in from behind and takes him down. 
Nice, almost lucky finisher, I would say. Throw almost made it out of there with the advantage. Yeah, I have to say, uh, pretty much exactly what I called would happen. Like, six cuties weren't going to get the point, and I mean, instant breakfast did what they should do. They pushed him with their uber, killed the other team's medic. However, they kind of overextended all their numbers as soon as they killed him. Six cuties medic. What they should have done as soon as he died is just backed up and held the high ground once again. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, anytime you kill the other team's medic, they're going to try and suicide on yours. Exactly. So, definitely overextension right there by instant breakfast. Oh. Still, Instant Breakfast had a very nice B-hole, they uh, denied multiple pushes from 6 cuties. Uh, but the one problem is, yeah, Thrilled died late in that fight, and that's gonna give Shooters a very large uber advantage. Uh, they're gonna get the V-cap for sure, and 6 cuties might even try to get into C now with this uber advantage. We see uh, Instant Breakfast playing on their back right ramp away from the uber. The uber is gonna get popped now at the B doors before the B-cap points. Uh, and looks like Auburn is able to get a pick onto SMHS, taking down that sentry as well. Puff bombs in and takes down Thrill. Huge pick there as Ricky gets Marmaduke Grills as well. Five players down now for instant breakfast. The cap is going down for six cuties on the point here. And with Umph going down, that's a wipe. And six cuties are going to get this round finally. Uh, but now it's instant breakfast's turn to see what they can do. Yeah, that was a pretty nice push from six cuties, though. I have to say, there wasn't really much of a reason for... Um, SMH has to move up his gun to, like, behind Shed, because, I mean, when the other team's Uber came in, they just caught him before he even had the gun up. Like, he should have just left it by the ramp that watches door one and door two, but overall, I mean, still, it was a solid push and a really nice bomb in from Puff, which pretty much kind of secured him the round. Mm -hmm. So it looks like six cuties are sacking both their soldiers here. That's just to give their engineer ammo. Um, for those people who aren't familiar with, uh, how Gravel Pit works on 6v6. It's a CP map, but it's not 5 CP at all. As you know, it's a uh, attack defense. And basically, if Instant Breakfast want to win this round, they need to capture three points in faster than six minutes and three seconds, which is a decent time, but uh, I would say it's about middle of the road. Yeah, it's about say? middle of the road. Like typically, if you can get a three to four minute time, that's considered really fast. Mm -hmm. And, you know, around the 5, 6, maybe 7 minute mark, that's like a medium-ish time, as you said, and like, 8 and up is kinda, that's considered slow. Mm -hmm. So it looks like here, Instant Breakfast is only gonna have one scout capping the point, oh no, now, now both scouts doing this. Uh, 6 cuties just gonna have all of their players actually on B to defend. And actually Instant Breakfast, interestingly enough, haven't moved any of their soldiers towards A yet, not quite sure what they're doing, they're not sacrificing anybody. They're literally just just camping out in the spawn here. Why, why do you think they're doing this, Blank? Uh, well, it looks like they're starting to move now. A super delay on the suicide. Well, the thing is, I don't know why they're suiciding now, because they're about to cap A. Well, I guess uh, the faster respawn timer kicking in could be a reason. Uh, they're able to get a sentry gun and a scout, but, I mean, that could really be the only reason. Oh, they actually might kill the wow. medic when force them to pop. Yeah, amazing play there from Rick and the rest of the team to jump in and get that force. They also got the level 3 sentry down, and that's going to be very tough for 6 cuties to defend now, uh, as that level 3 takes a long time to build up. And of course, with their medic down, they're not going to get uber for another 35 seconds. So, uh, nice play there. <laughs> we were just mentioning earlier how it's really hard to get that force to happen, but they, they got it. Uh, I guess the delay might have thrown 6 cuties off, but instant breakfast now. Pushing through the long B. Puff is not expecting that, though. He's got stickies on the shack. And uh, looks like they're also running a heavy as well, the engineer coming back, so they're basically running a double sentry, uh, if you count the heavy as one. And Ricky on the top of the roof here, trying to spam down on the combo, the sentry is going to go down, it wasn't able to get up in time, and SMI chest was able to pistol it down, the heavy now for the blue team out of the window, it's heavy, some heavy v heavy action, long range, the pipes and stickies coming in now for instant breakfast, the uber is popped uh, by Thrill, they're able to force out the enemy team, but not get any more picks with it, and looks like Shootus is going to have uber now, Blank. Yeah, that it will. I have to say, uh, six cuties kind of let instant breakfast get in way too clean there. Like, you should always be able to pop a team coming through one of the doors on this map just because of how choky it is. Yeah. But uh, I think six cuties is going to contest this with their own Uber, which is the right call. It looks like they are able to take down the heavy Rick, but uh, can they get anything else here as Umph bombs in and takes down Yusuf? It's pretty even now, but there's so many lit players for six cuties, and here comes the cleanup now. SMI chest, Umph, and Thorn getting in there. And cleaning everybody up, that's a full wipe from six cuties, and instant breakfast now gonna begin moving into last and uh, spawn camping. Six instant, yeah, am I saying that right? They're gonna go spawn camp six cuties. <laughs> well, right there, you kind of see the problem of running a heavy, just in general, is if you, like, if you want to try and heal your heavy, he's gonna eat a lot of damage, like, and because of that, you saw the health on six cuties, like, everybody dropped to the red, because the meds, like, you know, if you pop super, 
He has to think, save his demo, save his soldier, save the heavy, and there's just, it's too much. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you see it's the breakfast coming in with their own Uber. They're getting nice picks. They're down a player actually though, but they're on the point. Marmaduke Girls trying to hold off the scout here, and the Dumbo Man is Puff is bombing in to try and stop him. Umph goes up there as well. This Uber saw comes out. Thrill gets another one. Thrill has uh, two Uber saw kills this match. And uh, but instant breakfast, despite the spawn camping and the Uber advantage, they failed this last push. Yeah, yeah, right there. They just tried to rush the point when they had an uber advantage when really they could have just like killed stuff and won the round right afterwards. Mm -hmm. So kind of rushing or rushing it there, but I mean they'll still have a 25 uber advantage. I think this might be a crits. I mean, kind of that's like this another standard thing with a uh, G pit is you fail your first push with uber, but you try and kill the other team's medic, then you push him with crits. So yeah, I'm gonna get, get a lot of camera set. time here basically. <laughs> But uh, actually, Ricky is going to be running Sniper now, and he's uh, sniping from the spawn doors, which is pretty pretty standard as well. We do go back to Uff now, as we're, this crits is about to come in. They're leading the way with Marmaduke Grills, and now the crits on Uff, but he goes down to Puff Sticky Trap there, so this crits isn't going to be as effective. Rick is going to take down Bronze, so it's still 5-on-5, five five, but Rick goes down. The cap somehow gets onto the point here, though, and uh, Instant Breakfast going to make it 1-0. Yeah, that they will. Uh, that's kind of like... The problem with running crits is if you don't have like someone, like typically a scout lead or somebody to try and get through and bait the stickies or like to clear up, you just die to a trap. And anytime your demo man goes down on a crits, you're kind of in a bad spot. I mean, unless it's like a flat map, like say granary or something, where a soldier can kind of salvage it if the other team's close enough. But with how spread out G pit C is, like it's really hard not having a demo man with the crits unless you have a heavy. A heavy can save anything. So I apparently have a correction here, uh, Shootist is apparently Sakura after all. And I just got trolled. <laughs> ah, the alias. Yes, yes. So, uh, now after halftime, we're gonna start the second round. Six cuties are gonna be on defense this time, and instant breakfast is gonna be on offense. And my scoreboard apparently isn't changing colors, so I apologize. I'm just gonna swap it back like this. There we go. But uh, let's see what Six Cuties can do this time uh, on defense. They gotta hold it off just a little bit longer, and like you said, get more pressure on the doors from the spawn. Because uh, last time, Puff had stickies on the ch on the shack, and the heavy was just hiding back. And you're right, they didn't get that uber force early enough. And I wonder if Instant Breakfast are gonna go for the same exact offense. Most teams typically have a couple strategies prepared, give uh, the enemy team a different look. But uh, this being the first match of the week for both of these teams, uh, they don't want to give away too many strats for the second team that they face. Yeah, that's true. Here we see uh, one of the scouts going NG. Kind of a throwback to. Uh, oh, never mind. I was going to say it might be a throwback to Mackie bringing teleporters to A, but uh, <laughs> doesn't look like any off classing for instant breakfast, and it looks like they're trying something similar, just keeping their heavy classes in spawn. Yeah, we see S on my chest being very careful here, making sure there's nobody hiding around. And if there is somebody hiding, there's lots of spots to hide on A because it's so big. Uh, if they just come in and shoot you down while you're capping, that can put a big dent in your time. As that is not appropriate. Really, um, really, I d come on, man. I was about to warn you in the oh. camera work. I'm like, yeah, you probably don't want to watch any. Goodness of gracious! Looking at his side. Goodness gracious, my oh my. And again, we're we're all adults here, right? Yeah, I I would hope so, but uh. I don't know, I've seen a couple TFT players who are on the younger side. Anyway, Umph is gonna bomb in here. He goes straight for that sentry once again. It's gonna get taken down with the help of Marmaduke Grills. And Marmaduke's gonna try and jump back up and get some damage here onto the soldier. Ooh, getting close there. He's out of 5 health. He's gonna crater now. Uh, looks like the bomb wasn't super effective, but it wasn't like awful. They were able to, with that, able to take down the sentry after all. Yeah, sentry and the NG, I mean, it's a pretty decent, considering, uh, last time their suicides was about as perfect as you could ever get, like, the stars aligned, they made the other team pop uber, and they killed the sentry gun and the NG. This time, you know, not getting the other team's uber, but getting the sentry gun and, uh, the NG, you know, not, still pretty decent. Mm -hmm. So, actually, they're allowing Yusuf to set it back up, though. I'm not sure what Instant Breakfast are doing, but they're taking their time on this push. SMI Chess is actually sniping now, and he's going off of short B. He doesn't really see anybody out here, though, as uh, Rick's going to jump up on the roof here to try and get some damage onto the sentry to take it down. The Uber is going to get popped for either team. Thrill has a slightly better one, but he's been flashing a lot here. Brings the scout in Thorn. Thorn shoots the soldier away. Uh, meanwhile, the sentry is going to go down to Marma, and can Puff hold off this combo now as Marma's going to jump in onto the medic. Nice surf coming in there from Sakura. To back to his uh, dispenser, 
but, but Marma hits that rocket directly and takes him down. Thorn, meanwhile, taking down Bronze. It's still going to be four on four. Auburn trying to fight off a scout on the point. He's going to have to back himself off, too. He's pretty lit. Puff taking down Thorn, and oh my gosh, Umph jumps in and takes the entire engineer setup down. Also grabs the NG as well. And uh, But still, lots of players trading, actually, for either team, Blank. Yeah, but uh, Umph coming up with a huge play there, dropping down three people, as well as like the entire NG setup, and that should win instant breakfast, this B point right here. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, six cuties are in a position to make anything happen. It looks like the scout bronze is all. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get caught out here by Thorn. The soldier bombing in now. Thrill trying to rocket surf away. Thorn's able to clean both of those up there. Thrill is actually on Crits Creek now, which is gonna give him a slight advantage over Sakura uh, when it comes to this last point. But it's pretty difficult to Crits Creek out of the B side, so I'm wondering if they're gonna rotate over or not. Well, that's pretty much a standard practice nowadays. Is if you don't have Uber and you're already you've already won B, like a lot of teams nowadays just rotate through A. Because I mean, you build it along the way, and the other team might you know they might not suspect it. Like, see, they're rotating now, but it's kind of too late at this point. Yeah. Like the other team has Uber now, and they actually they got their spawns back in their setup. That's exactly right. And now uh, Sakura is going to have Uber in time. They're holding pretty far back, though. I'm not sure if they realize the enemy team is on crits or not. Uh, Bronze might have had a chance to spot it, but I don't think he saw it. Umph is going to come in with his crits now, and a nice reaction time from Sakura there to deny that crits from coming through. Umph, though, juggling the combo, so uh, really nothing much happening over there. Meanwhile, Thorn is able to take down the demo man. Puff, Bronze goes down as well here, so five on four. Now Auburn goes down as well here. So it looks like Instant Breakfast should be able to make this push happen. They're stacking themselves on top of the tower now. Uh, the medic goes down. It's only the scout left to try and defend. And... Ooh, he does take down Rick with a nice move. Almost grabs the medic himself there, but... What? Umph goes down too. Puff jumps his way up there and is able to hold that one off. Yusuf using that back roof to just dodge his way around and make plays happen. Nice job there stalling for the respawners, and Puff came in and just cleaned that up. Incredible. Yeah, that he did. That was just the... Uh, I mean, this is classic Puff. Bombing stuff and kind of working out there and being able to hold that off. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm just trying to check through the meta beam here. Actually, Ricky's hiding here. This is a pretty classic spot as well, huh? When the soldier tries to come out, maybe you might grab the medic, get him to drop or something. Uh, it does appear that Thrill is still on the Crits Creek, so they're going to have an advantage. But Thorn is on Sniper, and these are conflicting strategies here. Typically, you want the Sniper when you're uh, even Ubers, but Crits Creek, you Kinda want another scout, maybe. No, they're gonna give him a rail gun here. It's gonna create body shot the medic. Okay, I can't wait. It looks like Thorn peeking out from the uh, short door there. The crit's gonna go in on Umph. Can he get anything with this? He does force the Uber from Sakura. Marmaduke Girl's landing a rocket onto the demo man, doesn't get anything. Meanwhile, Ricky bombing in and does get thrill. Oh wow, big picks coming in now for the rest of Instant Breakfast. They're just coming in, taking lots of players down. Thorn finally getting that pick onto the scout. And it's only Auburn and Sakura left to try and defend. Soldiers for instant breakfast going up there. Wow, nice air pill from Umph. And that's going to finish out the round. Uh, or finish out the first part of the round, at least. Yeah, that it will. So I believe 1 0 already right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch the colors again. I apologize that I did not set that up correctly. But uh, 5 minutes and 21 seconds is the time that 6 cuties need to be, and that's that's actually a pretty difficult time. You need to, you can only fail your pushes like maybe once or twice. Yeah, like uh, with a team of 521, I mean, that's a pretty solid time, I have to say, Like, uh, but it's not the end of the world, definitely beatable. So, uh, looking at these setups here, it would appear that Instant Breakfast aren't going to be running an NG, and this is uh, the same strategy that Madman was using, according to Blank. And, uh, uh, yeah, they're just positioned quite a bit differently than us, though, I have to say. They're like, they're holding in, I guess what you would say are traditional positions, except they're not running the off classic. I don't know, we hold differently. Hmm. Well, but I mean, same, same concept, I guess. Uh, six cuties look like they're gonna be moving out towards A now with their soldiers, and they're leaving their medic in the spawn. Uh, meanwhile, instant breakfast looking around trying to figure out where they're coming from. But honestly, when you're just holding standard like this, there's nothing for the defending team to do but just sit around because you know they're trying to cap A. And yeah, and it looks like we might have a bit of a suicide play actually from 
Six cuties, it might catch them considering their positioning here. Puff does go down. Yeah. But I hope they get the force. So I mean, wow, great play there from the soldiers and the demo man. I mean, it, you typically would. I mean, they had a scout on the roof, right, to try and deny that jumper there, but. Uh, it looks like Puff got in pretty deep, and then the soldiers came around the other side, and we were able to get that force. This, yeah, you're right. The positioning for the medic was kind of bad because he was stuck in this corner where he really had nowhere to go. Yeah, normally you have the sentry gun that just denies the jumpers, but I think like another thing is no one really spotted the people coming in from C, and like typically if you're on the stock classes, you need a scout at C, like so you can spot anything coming through door three trying to flank you and. <laughs> That's kind of how the soldier ended up getting in behind. He walked in door two, like, scotch free, and just jumped in on the medic, so... Yeah. Well, the Uber's gonna get popped for six cuties. Ricky's gonna go down on the roof here, and actually, Rick is holding that high ground, getting good spam onto the combo. Meanwhile, SMHS takes down Yusuf. Looks like the Sakura is gonna go down as well. Puff going down. There's a lot of players dead for six cuties, as the Uber is coming in now for instant breakfast. Only two players live. Auburn's gonna get taken out. Only Bronze left to try and def uh, attack the point. Or maybe make a play on the medic, but he's already backed himself into a really bad position, and he's just gonna get forced out here, which is not the best idea considering that his spawn time is so, so short when he's on offense. Yeah, but I mean, he would have died so much later than the rest of his team, and you never really want to stagger your spawns by a large amount, so mm. staying alive there, it's a pretty good call, and it looks like his team is actually trying to dry push here, so. Yeah, they're coming in now through short B. Rick on the high ground there, uh, trying to get damage onto the medic. He gets one rocket, no, taken down by Auburn. Meanwhile, Bronze taken out there. And uh, Thrill is down to just 11 health. He's trying to back himself out through the uh, BC connector. Uh, he's not in a good position, especially uh, that low. Shootus is pretty low as well as SMI chest. And I think Rick tried to bomb their way in and try and kill him. Uh, Thorn's gonna go down to Yusuf though, and finally, six cuties are gonna break through this. But three minutes left on the clock. It's gonna be pretty tight going into C. Well, C is probably like the hardest thing to push on this map. Oh wait, it looks like they're actually going to try and contest us with the Uber. I don't really agree with this. Yeah, they both the teams have exchanged on the point now. It looks like Umph and Thrill going down trying to defend B, and this could be pretty bad for them as uh, Marmaduke Girls gets nice two constellation kills. But still, uh, if Six Qs handle this correctly, they're going to have full advantage going into C. And there's not, it's not like there's a lot of time, but there's still plenty of time for them to get into last. Yeah, there's plenty of time, but like the problem with that Uber that they tried to take was they already had someone playing heavy at C, and they were still down, I believe, as Scout, so they tried to basically push in 4v6 when um, 6 QDs had already pushed up to door 1 and had it sticky, so like if you ever want to contest B and the other team has a demo man up, you never want to go through door 1. Like take, sec take the extra couple of seconds to go through door 2, and you get in a lot cleaner. Mm-hmm. Looks like I'm getting spammed in chat here, but uh... <laughs> back to the cast. So six cuties do have a uh, 30% uber advantage getting ready to push in now through the uh, left side BC connector. Auburn leading the way making sure there's no traps here and now the uber is gonna get popped pretty early on. Umph's trap is not gonna come into play though but the pyro able to push back Auburn. He's pushing back all the stickies off the point as well. Now the, the uber from six cuties is not gonna be that effective. Auburn does pick off Thorn though. Bronze up on the point trying to fight this heavy. The heavy is doing a lot of damage though. He's able to get a couple picks there. Ricky and Bronze go down as well so it's gonna be a three on three to try and get this and honestly this is six, uh, the six cuties last hurrah as if they wipe here they're not gonna be able to get back in time. There's just a minute and a half left. Looks like Umph is able to take him down, and yeah, with a minute and ten seconds left, I don't think six cuties have enough time to get a good push in. Well, they've got time for maybe a wave of suicides and then one solid push, and after that, um, it's like you said, the last hurrah, so I mean, let's see how this develops for him. Maybe they'll try a crits here with Puff? I mean, Puff is a pretty solid demo man, and Back when he played on Mighty Ducks, they sure did like their crits, but uh, let's see what they do here. Mm -hmm. So, Instant Breakfast is actually going to be holding pretty close to the chokes. They want to make sure that the uh, blue players don't have a chance to get in easily. 35 seconds left on the clock for 6 cuties they can play. They're going to be going through the left AC connector. And they're actually taking... <laughs> all 6 of their players are bunched up in this hallway right now. Uh, they're gonna be on the crits Krieg, so let's see how Puff does. Ricky's gonna go down early though, and looks like Up is gonna get a lot of pressure onto the medic. Looks like Puff, Auburn, and Sakura are all gonna die. The heavy on top of the point, SMI chest, able to shoot down the- Oh no! Yusuf does take him out there, but Thorn, the pyro up top, should be able to finish up him with the shoddy. Yes, he does take him down. Bronze down as well, and it's just a bunch of respawners for six cuties. I think Instant Breakfast should be able to have this match 2-0. Yes. So, um, 
that does it for that first match. I'm gonna bring up the stats real quick. Uh, Blank, what do you think? Uh, let me open up the stats, but from what I saw, that was a nice attempt with the uh, the crits there. Kind of the problem was, is I think uh, Thrill was playing close up to the doors there, and like Puff kind of focused all his attention on the medic, whereas like what um what Umph did there is rather than Sticky Puff, who was like trying to crit Sticky his team, he stickied off the door so that the rest of the team couldn't come in, which is pretty much the right answer. And he kind of stuffed that crits by himself, so that was really well played mm -hmm. to umph, and ended yeah. up uh, completely stuffing that crits. Yeah, and then the soldiers bombing in too was just uh, icing on the cake. So, Instant Breakfast gonna make it 2-0, uh, they're gonna keep moving on here. Six cuties though, uh, still not in a bad position, they have a very good record thus far, and they're probably gonna make playoffs. Uh, they have a strong roster, and uh, we should be seeing more of them soon. So the next match we're gonna be casting is Royalty versus Chill to Good Ratio, and we'll see you guys in a bit.